to hell with my sore arm. I'm just hoping we've hooked a big female. I haven't come this far to miss out. The thing is, I get the illusion now that I'm actually bringing the fish to me. What's actually happening is I'm taking the boat to the fish. The fish isn't actually going anywhere at the moment. What do you think, Cow? Is it a fairly good fish? Oh, it's just actually come off the bottom. It's a worrying sign. Any monster worth its salt isn't going to give up so quickly. But then the stingray sinks back down, switches gear, and takes off upriver. Oh! The drag on this reel is a little bit like a handbrake on a car, and I've got that almost fully on, and the fish is basically just taking that line. As I watch at the moment, it's just going out one inch, two inches, three inches. After half an hour, my opponent stops for a breather, and I do the same. Then we're back for round two, and it's looking like a big fish. Seven of us on two boats are dragged half a mile against the tide. Right, it might surface, it might surface, it might surface over there. Now I've got the fish on the ropes. For the first time, it feels like I'm driving the bus. It's under the boat now, the fish is under the boat. I don't want to be lifting it while it's under the boat. I think it's coming this way again. Ah, it's just squashing my fingers. It's squashing my fingers. It's coming, it's gone, it's gone this way. It's right gone this way. Okay. See the water boiling there? I haven't seen the fish yet. It's near the surface. I've just actually seen the lead. It's up in the water. I think we've got it. I think we've got it. Back of the net. And this one looks pretty big with an impressive 10-inch sting. Head of the science team, Dr Ning, first secures the barb. She's asked me to help her collect some venom before we release the fish. It takes six people to heave this huge animal onto its front into a position where we can measure it. Okay, 180 centimetres to base of the tail. Okay. Head down, head down for one, head down for one. Go for the wingspan. One metre 91, nearly two metres uh, across, 191. At around six feet across and roughly 400 pounds, this female stingray is by far the largest river fish I've ever seen. <laughs> Little did I realise she was about to produce the mother of all surprises. So we've just got the fish into where the, science, the scientific team is. And literally, as we sort of pulled it in in the net, it's actually given birth to two live young. Dr Ning uses ultrasound to see if there are any more babies still inside. This is the first time scientists have been able to collect data from the fully formed pups of these stingrays. Uh, here, here. This. On the ultrasound, there's the dark line, which is a cavity, and then there is a, a lighter shape inside it. So apparently that is the baby stingray still inside. For me, this fish is a real first, and not just for its size. I thought I had one fish on the end here. It looks like I've got one, two, three, and another one inside. Four fish, one hook. Like many sharks, stingrays give birth to live young. When they emerged, these babies had what looked like a small cap on their stings, presumably to prevent internal injury to the mother. However, these safety catches soon drop off. Within minutes, these twins are armed and ready to defend themselves. One problem about here, it's the border between two countries, Thailand and Laos. I might have possibly strayed over the... Astonishingly, females can be up to eight times bigger than this full-grown 